needle. You need to learn how to read and understand your analytics. Every part of your business is gonna have a different best practice set of analytics. Now, the two that I look to more often than anything is PSM and a 4PI analysis. PSM is LTV divided by the sum of CPA and COGS times the frequency of purchases. This ultimately says how much more money can I spend on a daily basis with my ads and still break even or meet my business objectives because as volume grows, that margin can be less. Now this is infinitely more important than any metric based around attribution. For instance, NCPA or ROAS or MER or contribution margin from our friends over at The Collective. This is legitimately actionable information, not a retroactive report card, which means it's something we can use to make plans for the future. The 4PI analysis will let us know inside of Facebook, even at broad, how Facebook is using our ad and ultimately where our opportunities lie when it comes to marketing angles, positioning, creative direction, and how people are responding to that hero product as well as our tier two marketing efforts for those LTV products. The point here is you need to value actionable information. You need to only look at data that allows you to make a decision. And anything else is not your objective. It's basically a vanity metric for somebody else to understand the value of what they're doing, but ultimately it won't help people make decisions that move the needle financially. And when we are talking about growing your business and getting funding and scaling your brand, you need to understand market opportunities and finances. If it's not gonna help you make a decision to affect one of those things, like if you're looking at ROAS, won't help you make that decision. CPC, won't help you make that decision. CTR, won't help you make that decision. MER, won't help you make that decision. Contribution margin, NCPA, CAP. None of those things are gonna help you ultimately say, this is the move I need to make. At best, they're gonna make you feel good or bad about something or give you a retroactive report card on what happened, generally in a myopic view, which is completely useless for anybody making real business decisions. Now, I know he just said a lot of things there that might be controversial, and if you have any questions on them, please drop them in the comment section below. You'll also find links, once again, to the Facebook Ads MBA program, to Disruptor School, to join the newsletter, check out the merch, any of those types of things. But if you are still not confident running your campaigns at broad targeting, setting the budget at the campaign level. If you don't know what the impact of spend on one ad is having across the rest of your ecosystem, these are the solutions that you should be looking for to inform yourself on how to be a better operator. The things that will not fix this problem, Advantage Plus, cost caps, lookalikes, interest groups, retargeting, any of that nonsense won't fix this. ROAS and MER and contribution margin, NCPA will not Fix. And if somebody is telling you their biggest objective is to scale the business so they can get funding, understand that number one, they don't know how funding works. Number two, they are making a very unattractive business for funding in the first place. And number three, remember that getting funding is not a badge of honor. It's almost always a liability. And some of the biggest brands that get funding are the weakest positioned brands in the market. There's a reason why two, three years ago, everybody that was getting 10, 20, 100, 200, 500 million dollar valuations are going out of business today. And there's a reason why the most successful D2C businesses are almost all bootstrapped. So there you have it. And before we go, just a friendly reminder, please hit like, subscribe, drop a comment, leave positive feedback, five stars, all the things you can do to help this do well. Because at the end of the day, the better we can get with this channel getting out there, the more people will have the opportunity of creating opportunity for others. And the more we're gonna be able to undermine the folks that have no idea what they're doing that are creating harm at scale in the market. You deserve better. You deserve more success and less stress. And with that being said, I'll see you on the internet. Bye.